guys, so today's video is going to be another challenge video. I'm quite enjoying these challenge videos, I'm not going to lie. This one I actually came up with myself, or at least I think I came up with it because I haven't seen anyone else do it. Um, the idea just randomly popped into my head and that's doing my makeup using paint brushes. So I picked up some paint brushes from AC Moore. I bought this pack right here, which is the Crafter's Choice Camel Hair 15 piece brush set. And this was only $9.99 for 15 brushes. And I also got these two brushes right here, this cute little fan brush, which I thought was perfect for a highlight. Um, and this little angled, um, this small precise angled brush. And these were, the fan brush was $3.99 and the angled shader brush was $1.99. So that's really, really awesome. I hope this video is helpful for anyone out there. Whether it's you just want to try different brushes out or whether you want to start using makeup but you don't want to buy makeup brushes and maybe you have paint brushes lying around or you'd rather buy these because they are very affordable. Makeup brushes can be quite expensive. Um, there are drugstore brushes that are out there that are very affordable, but this is even more affordable than that. So, I don't know, I thought it would just be fun to try them out, and if they work well, then that's great, and I would love to share the fact that they're good with you. So if you're interested in this video, then just keep watching. Okay, so first let's open this bad boy up because I have not even tried these brushes yet at all. I hope that this works out fine. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Oof. Oh wow, they actually feel pretty soft. I thought they were going to be kind of rough. Wow, that's actually pretty dang soft. Like I'm not even joking. That's like really, really soft. That's even softer than some elf brushes. But like, I don't know if you could see how crazy the bristles are. So it looks like, it looked like it was going to be kind of rough, but it's so soft. Like, they're actually like pretty darn cute. Like, are these not cute, the packaging of them? And they're like kind of orangey. They're so cute. I like them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Bosha um, Tsubaki Glotion. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. I just got this. This is going to be the first time I'm using it. Oh, it smells like, um, what's their other product that I use? It smells exactly like it. Damn it. I can't remember. I can't think of what it is. It has the same smell. Yes, Glotion. Glow me up. I'm going to take my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer Instant Pore Eraser. I haven't used this in a long time, guys, in a long time. So I'm going to apply this, focus it on my nose, which is where I have the most pores, and on my cheeks, my like inner part right here. Damn pores, my aunt. Damn pores. I'm going to put some on my chin, so I have a lot here too. So this deep primer is just going to blur out all the pores and just like blur out all the texture on your skin just to make it smoother. So I'm going to let that sit and dry a little bit and I'm going to go in and do my eyebrow. <laughs> my poor little boop boop pencil, the Benefit eyebrow pencil, it broke and I'm here like trying to use every last bit. It broke off, so I keep trying to put it in here and like hold it in there while doing my eyebrows. Guys, I need to buy a new one. It's so good. How the heck am I like done with this thing already? It's ridiculous. And my brows always take long. You know this. Oh, actually, I should try and use one of these for my eyebrows, right? Should I? Should I do that guys? I don't, I don't know if there's a good one here for my eyebrows. I'm going to be taking the Cabral Benefit Pomade. And I'm going to try one of these brushes here. I'm going to take this one. This is number 6. The Crafter's Choice R9125 Royal and Nate. Oh, this is Royal and Lane Nickel. I've heard of them. 
They just do brushes? I don't really know. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this on my eyebrows. So if I look crazy today, guys, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Please work. Please work. Alright, alright. Is it doing anything? Hold on. Why am I liking this right now? Like, I'm not even kidding. Why am I liking how easy that is? How easy that's applying? So it's like, it feels weird because it's like, it's like rough, not rough, it's like sturdy, but not sturdy. Like it's sturdy, but it like kind of bends when you're doing it in a weird way. But like, I just apply that so easily and quickly. I'm like not even mad at that. Like I freaking love how my eyebrow looks right now. That was so sit. That was so easy to do. Like it felt odd because it feels different than like the other brushes that I'm used to, but it applied it pretty darn good. Guys, my eyebrows. I am like extremely impressed and excited about my eyebrows right now. Like I'm not even kidding. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. So, the one thing I'll say right now is when I'm using the brush, I find it's better to kind of like angle it like this instead of like this. Because this way you have more precision with it. And it may feel like it's really like kind of drawing instead of like stroke. I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it will feel weird, but that's how it applies it. Like, I did my, I've never done my eyebrows quicker. Like, that just made it so easy. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. And I wear the shade 201 Classic Ivory. So I never use a flat brush for my foundation, but some people like using it. Oh my god. Oh, this is so weird. Maybe I chose the wrong foundation for this, actually. Let me like put it, let me place it maybe. Uh. I'm not liking this at all. <laughs> I am not liking this for foundation. Like not one tiny little bit. I'm gonna go over my sponge. I just wanna see. See, but like foundation. Oh. No. So my my eyebrow. All right. So far, one dud and one awesome, one awesome brush and one terrible brush. I mean, for basic painting. Seems great. Now I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for my concealer. Oh, I guess I could use this for concealer. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna try and use this rough little thing for concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay Concealer 
And I'm going to go ahead and apply this under the eye and pray for myself right now because I don't want to destroy my under eye area. I'm just saying. So I'm going to go ahead and try to blend it out with the similar blush that we use, blush, brush that we use for the foundation, but like a smaller version, just a flat brush. And I'm going to try and, oh my god, blend that out. <laughs> doing with my life brush strokes times a hundred all right it's not working out that great not gonna lie gonna try and blend it out with this one All right, moving on. Gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the NYX HD Banana Pouta. And I'm going to use the same brush that we used to blend out the concealer, the small little brush, small little blendy brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna use it to set the under eye area. Yes, great setting brush. It's really soft though. And I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with my CoverGirl powder. And I'm going to try to use this small brush to set the rest of my face. I, don't I mean, I could use the other one, but this is good. It's actually working really well to blend out powders. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer and I'm going to use that small, I mean the bigger fluffy brush to try and bronze up the face and I think this is going to be a great brush. Honestly, I think it's going to be a great brush. Yes, contour slash bronze up the face. I'm going to take it up on my temples. I'm going to take some under my jawline. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Milani blush in Romantic Rose. If I can open it. Okay, looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and take this and pop it on my cheekbones. Yes, blush brush, come through. Blush too. I'm excited to go in with this new highlight that I just bought. The Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter that a lot of people talk about. And I finally bought it. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. So first we're going to try the fan brush on this side. Let's see. It's very flimsy. So I don't know how well it's going to work out. But let's see. Whoa. <gasps> All right. Oh, no, not good at all. That was not good. Way too flimsy. Doesn't apply. It just like stroked it on and then it just stayed there and like it couldn't blend out because it's so thin and flimsy. So we're gonna go in with the small fluffy brush. I'm gonna take less of the powder and we're gonna try to, yes, there you go. And I prefer these type of um, highlighter br blushes. Oh my god, but I keep saying blush instead of brush. What the heck? I like these small, um, fluffy brushes instead for highlighter rather than fan brushes anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and pile this on now. 
All right, highlight. Yes, highlight. Do you see that? Mm. I like it. I swatched it and I like flipped. Like it looks so good swatched. Oh my God, there's so much on my face right now. I'm obsessed. This brush is freaking perfect for applying highlighter. Like, perfect size. Oh my God, do you see that? Holy moly. This highlight is bomb though. Bomb skis. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why did I take so long to get this though? Oh my god. I'm like extremely excited right now because this looks so freaking good. I'm gonna prime my eyelids just with the concealer that I used earlier. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger as I usually do. go ahead and I'm going to set that just with the um, powder that I used to set my under eyes and the small brush just to lock the liquid or the cream in place with the powder so the rest of the eyeshadows blend out smoothly all right I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the small fluffy eye brush that we have here somewhere Taking a small blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this shade Warmth in the It Cosmetics Natural Pretty Palette. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Warmth right here. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease. It doesn't have to be precise at all. This brush is actually a really nice size. It's pretty small, but it's still good and like big enough to blend something into the crease, but it's gonna be really good to be more precise too. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here, which is called All Hearts, and I'm gonna put that into the crease. I'm gonna put in all heart on the outer corner and into the crease. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Java right next to it to deepen up the outer corner a bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add this shade Love to my inner um, portion of the eye, to my inner lid. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do liner with the Maybelline Studio Black Liner. And I'm going to take one of the brushes. I think I want to take the um, one that I bought separately, which is like a small angled brush. And I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do 
my winged liner with this. go ahead and I want to try the NYX gold color now so I'm gonna try and put that right over the black liner that we placed down all right I'm that doesn't look too bad yet the liner I actually kind of like this brush I actually really really like to apply my liner with this brush let me try this one out now I am like not mad at that either actually Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the glitter on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and take, well, I'm gonna put this highlighter in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take this highlighter into my inner corner and I'm just gonna use this small little precise brush and I'm gonna pop that right into there. Yes. Yes, inner corner. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this highlight, guys. I'm gonna apply this under my eyes. The white shade in this palette right here. I'm gonna put that underneath my brow bone. With one of the small flat brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Milani Teddy Bear. Oh, I love the smell of these. It smells like candy. I'm gonna take the same brush that we used on the top for our eyes. I'm going to use it to just blend this color right here to my boat, my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and take one of the small um, hard brushes and use that for and I'm going to use that to add some Java to make it a little bit deeper under there I'm just going to put it closer to my black line ahead and apply my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Alright guys, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing my makeup using paint brushes. So hopefully you got something good out of that. I actually really liked most of these brushes. The only brushes I didn't really like to use were the brushes that I used for my foundation. So like this flat brush, I did not like. It just didn't work to blend out that foundation. Um, if you wanted to buy some paint brushes for a cheaper alternative or you had paint brushes at home that you want to use, I would recommend to skip on a flat brush like this for the foundation and just use your fingers instead or use a fluffier brush like this. But I thought this set was really, really good. It was the, the Royal and um, Lane Nickel Crafters Choice Camel Hair Brush Set 15 piece. I think it's overall a really, really good brush set. You get a bunch of brushes that you can try out. A lot of them were really good. Um, and I actually see myself using some of them, like this small highlighter brush, the um, more defined brushes for like my eyeliner, and the eyebrow brush was amazing. Um, and the fluffy brush too is really good for contouring and for blush. So overall, I really liked these brushes and I thought, I think it kind of worked out, right? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at my makeup look. It doesn't look terrible. 
it looks pretty good it looks like I use my regular brushes so yeah I hope you enjoy this video I hope you got something good out of it um, thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and don't forget to subscribe um, thank you so much and I'll see you next time bye